We wouldn't have thought to 3D print any of the things that we did until we had a printer and we started printing. Chris Yanta, I'm the founder of Mollyworks, uh, started the company in 2015. Mollyworks started uh, producing the Greyhound system for the United States Army. We designed a system uh, that we could melt uh, materials on the battlefield and then produce powder uh, for basically uh, in, in theater or battlefield repair of parts. We have uh, five uh, United States government agencies, so uh, Army, Navy, Air Force, Department of Energy, and NASA. And then we also have commercial customers, uh, basically like a, a cornerstone customer in each of the major segments, healthcare, automotive, um, aerospace, defense, oil and gas, energy. We produce parts in-house for our atomization unit. We call it the Greyhound. That unit is responsible for taking scrap metal and we melt that down and we actually turn it into additive manufacturing powder. A few of the components in there are pretty much not able to be made any other sort of way. Added manufacturing is billed as rapid prototyping. That's kind of what we do here. So we have a few parts that have pretty intricate internal passageways and internal geometries that pretty much can't be produced through any other method. I think for, for rapid design or product iteration, it's unmatched. So at first when we were doing the raw materials you could use a very small 3D printer and use small amounts of powder uh, and then you could develop print parameters or do small demonstrators. But at this stage uh, of, of the program um, and just of the company's maturity we needed to get to a more serialized uh, production or a higher production volume and so that's why we moved into the 3D systems unit. So we went from doing onesie twosies to now doing full builds, uh, you know, 10 plus components on a build. Having the 3D systems printer here allows us to do our prototyping at a larger scale and much quicker. If we have an issue in our atomization process, say we're switching over to a new alloy material, well, we don't want it to take three or even six weeks to get it back. When we have these machines in house, I can you know, print maybe nine different iterations of the same die and we can kind of rotate them out quickly. These are a consumable product in our system, so these dies do get eaten up over time. Um, so we need to be able to make a bunch of them quickly, but we also need to be able to pivot since 2017, we've been developing airworthy components by additive manufacturing. And so we produce a, a, a beta titanium in a powdered alloy form, and then we utilize that specialty material uh, as the, the powder for the 3D printing. And we're printing uh, the, the landing gear components that will eventually be tested for airworthiness. We needed a unit that is able to hold a very low oxygen level inside. We need something with a vacuum system. Not all of the 3D printers on the market have vacuum systems and not all of them perform you know, to the same caliber. With the 3D Systems Printer, we're able to get our process down to five parts per million oxygen within the chamber. That means when we're making parts out of titanium, it's not gonna be sucking up a bunch of oxygen um, during the print. We're currently making these parts out of a material that we produce on our atomization unit here in-house. Uh, it's known as titanium 1023. It's a lot stronger and more durable than aluminum. We're able to make the parts a little bit lighter as well since we're producing them through additive manufacturing processes. So now that we have a machine of our own in-house, we really have full control of our process. We use 3D Expert to kind of do a lot of our build preparation, um, generating support materials and slicing parts. So that lent itself really well to transitioning into a 3D systems printer. In 3D Expert, I can do support structure generation, I can do lattice design, I can do generative design, all within uh, the same interface. So if I want to mix and match some of those strategies in the same part, I don't have to switch between different softwares. I can kind of do it all in one place save it all together. Yeah, it really helped us uh, streamline the process to be able to go from 3D Expert straight to our 3D Systems printer. And once we got a 3D printer in-house, we were able to do development cycles on you know between one and three days rather than a few weeks, and that rapidly increases your ability to, to improve products. Internally, it's expanding our, our vision to what parts could be 3D printed on our own operations. And that doesn't ever happen until you have a printer. And that, that's when uh, you start to realize you could have this printed or you could do that printed.